everybody. Welcome back to Tech Check. Here we are at episode nine. First and foremost, wanted to wish you and your families the best at this very difficult time. We know lots is happening with the COVID situation. May God be with you. Please be safe and well. So today, in the spirit of continuing on building on the interesting stories that we have in Pakistan, we said, let's go back and find some people who have done some pioneering work in the industry in Pakistan. And today we have with us Mr. Yusuf Hussain of Crestsoft, a very large offshore innovation center developed about two decades ago. He's gone on, he was the CEO of Ignite for a couple of years, and now he's doing a corporate innovation advisory called Jump Curve. Welcome, Yusuf. Thank you for coming on the show today. Thank you very much. Very happy to be here. That's great. That's great. So let's just jump right in, Yusuf, and, and learn a little bit about you know, what's, what's Jump Curve all about? You know, you've got quite a legacy and a history. Uh, even three, four years ago, what I was seeing in uh, Pakistan was that uh, there was a realization that we have kind of high tariff barriers of protection and our industries can't compete globally. Right. Uh, our exports as a percent of a GNP or a population are very low. And uh, so what drives global competitiveness? It's innovation. It's innovation in terms of new products and services, new business models, cutting down your costs, and so on. So I thought uh, uh, since many years that there was a great capacity for Pakistani corporations to innovate. And then we see this in the USA as well, uh, let alone the rest of the world, that a major part of the innovation strategy of corporations is through acquisitions or investments into startups. We right. see uh, a Facebook or an Apple or an IBM making six to eight or maybe 10 acquisitions a year. We saw what Facebook did with WhatsApp or Oculus and so on. So uh, because of my kind of background since back in, well, I was uh, a startup entrepreneur myself. And then since about 2014, I brought uh, Silicon Valley into beta, into Islamabad. And since then, I've been very engaged with the energy and the innovativeness and creativity of the uh, startup space. And so Jump Curve is about this, bringing disruptive innovation and energy to the corporate world so together they can compete globally. So building on that a little, and Yusuf, I'm sure you're plugged into what's happening. You know, we've had over the last year, uh, some sizable stakes taken in entities like Airlift, Bazaar, Dawai. Well, what do you, you think is spurring that and how do we continue building on that? We see the emergence of a new home-based economy. So people at home, whether they're going to return 30% of the workplace or 70% of the workplace, the point is they're going to need to be entertained. So Netflix stock has shot up. They need to work. So Zoom shot a startup. And uh, uh, they need to order food and supplies. So Daraz and a bunch of other companies I know, uh, you know, they are increasing in sales, telehealth, telemedicine. So this is a trend uh, that we can expect and understand. And then uh, governments are saying, I, I think there was a prime minister of one country, I forget which country, but he said that the digitization that we were going to do in seven or eight years may now happen in seven or eight months. And in Pakistan, we see that when we see a SaaS program linked up with Easy Pesa, for example. You know, building on that a little, so how do we continue to help people, particularly from the diaspora perspective? What, what, what can we do to help more to accelerate these things on the Pakistan side? I've been part of the diaspora since for about 18 years in the USA, where I built my first startup. And, um, you know, in my opinion, uh, the Pakistani diaspora is kind of split between people who love Pakistan, yearn for the traditions, you know, go to the restaurants and the mosques and so on, on Eid or, 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 or our, uh, different festivals. And then the, those are the people who are completely turned off by the perceived corruption or what have you. And, you know, they don't have anything to do with Pakistan. Quite frankly, on the other hand, I've seen the Indian diaspora being very supportive, being very connected. New people come to different cities. They, got, they find places to stay, eat free. Uh, form a network, find a job, and so on. 
And just to wrap it up, I wanted to know what is one success story that you had during your tenure, either currently or at Ignite, that you can talk about? Something that's really now doing well. Anything that you've got there? Well, uh, digiskills.pk, digiskills.pk, freelancing training platform, $5 million budget. We went to 1 million plus enrollments in one year, three months. And a Kajan University head of department, a mathematician, estimated they are earning $110 million a year for Pakistan foreign exchange. And then we had our national incubation centers. We set up five in about a year, a little over a year. And uh, they graduate almost 200 startups a year. Uh, but that's not all. Uh, these startups have attracted seven rupees almost, six rupees, 84 pesos, almost seven rupees of private sector and development sector investment for every one rupee put in by Ignite. So, um, uh, so you can gauge from that and uh, in terms of employment creation, revenue generation and a seed fund as well. There are several companies from a seed fund or kind of third initiative where we put in, let's say about $150,000, $200,000 seed fund who went on to subsequent rounds of funding and substantial funding with a deep impact of society. So, uh, you know, Alhamdulillah, thanks to God, thanks to the hard work of the team and good intentions. Ignite was able to achieve a lot. The Pakistani ecosystem of the last few years achieved a lot. And there are a lot of opportunities here to benefit society, but also to make a very high ROI. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Hussein. This has been really great. Uh, we, we're always trying to build and capture on what's happening in the ecosystem, how it started, where it's going. Always great to get perspectives like that from you. Thank you very much for joining us today. For our audience today, thank you very much for joining us once again for episode nine. Just wanted to let you guys know we have our website up and running now. So it's techshack.net. Please join us there. If you've got comments, feedback, please let us know. I also want to thank my sponsors, Celeritas Solutions and Open Silicon Valley. And with that, I'd like to say to everybody, Allah Hafiz, have a great day. Wishing you the best. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.